Okay. Uh, Zoopy's getting Loom. He's sending a villager forward with Berbers. Oh, no. So things haven't been going good for him. He has faster villagers. He's sending a villager forward. It is within the laws and the rules of the tournament to use villagers to shoot deer, take out boars, anything like that. So we saw it in Chaos Pit. We rarely see it on Golden Pit. I think the only other player to do it on non-Chaos Pit was actually ah. Viper in the group stage. And that's why I'm picking the Vietnamese here. Because they wanted to lame and wanted to know where the TCs are. You saw the eggs. don't know where the boars are. Yeah, but <laughs> but you... Well, unfortunately, the villager runs exactly between TC and boar. Ah. But yeah, they, they know where Viet... They now make use of Vietnamese bonus a bit more, but I think Zupi will be very disappointed that he was unable to get that boar. This is a massive risk. Falling in the villagers now, that's kind of funny. And they could also kill this villager. Velez fighting this, this could be blocked off. And okay, in the end, it's awkward for Velez, but no uh, vil losses yet. And now Velez will probably tell Max, hey, this is happening. They're changing it up a bit on us. Mm -hmm. and I think it's more than worth it if you kill that boar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The question is like, should Velez now seeing that instantly have gone for the back boar? Yeah, he didn't pull anything. That vil will be walled in, and that boar is going to be a goner. Uh, here he comes now. Maybe the boar will... will aggro on the of Les's villager but it shouldn't and that boar should die there Try yeah he's villager. just accepting it I guess someone in twitch chat on my side asking why can't Finland be play without any wacky strategy oh they can watch their games from the group stage they definitely can but they're up against a better meta team the Max and Velez are one of the favorites to win the tournament so if you try and play meta against the team who's who's king of that it's very difficult for you and i kind of enjoy the fact that they're changing it a bit here nilly yeah and i think against every non-top let's say lot top six five teams i think they would yep. just play meta yeah it's it's really unfortunate for for uh for finland b that there is another team that is considered top 10 and, and not just top 10 you know almost top one top two top three at times because they are so good yeah. And good job from Max and good job from Velez. They kill the villager. We'll see how that affects what Velez was going to do here. Well, this is bad for Zuppi and Roomstock for this specific tournament. I think they didn't complain over the last four years dominating other Nations Cups that were 3v3 and 4v4. Yeah, exactly. It's like, uh, you know, people upset not to see Doubt in this tournament because Doubt doesn't have that really strong second serve. Um, well, first off, I should mention that Doubt was going to play and miss the sign-up deadline. <laughs> which is very doubt. Uh, but the other thing to mention is, you know, doubt has been dominating tournaments for, for such a long time. And so it just, it, it really depends. Some teams are more favored in 2v2 format. Some teams are less favored. That's actually Good job from Max there. That actually might be my favorite storyline of all World Cup. Like, Modri, another guy born in Yugoslavia, made a topic on AOE Zone. Like, I want to play with doubt and make it happen. We don't have a lot of strong players. We were born in the same country. The country doesn't exist. And massive and massive amount of posts, like, why it should be fair and how the system isn't nice. And then Doubt just says, I don't even want to play with Modri. <laughs> Doubt was not planning on playing with him at all. Doubt had already told us he was going to play with Hiko, and then Doubt missed the sign-up deadline. Yeah, yeah. believe me, I, I think because, you know, you're you're not part of, of organizing, it probably was fun for you. It was annoying for me. Uh, but yeah, Doubt, Doubt didn't care at all. <laughs> um, Rubenstock has a militia over here, which means he's got to have a few more. And the militia are on the way. And there's still a gap here, but... Uh, after Velez had had to deal with all that pressure, um, he seems to be fine at home. Don't get confused by the Palisades. And yeah, another game where Max expects pressure and he deals with it well. And Nilly, I think we're going to see a repeat of game one. I think he goes eco upgrades and no military. He has no barracks. He has no stable. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice. Maybe took something out of the MBR rule, uh, rule and strategy book there. It is quite interesting. It's, and... it's, I haven't seen this since I saw Max doing it, or, or kind of setting the trend when I was in Hamburg with you in uh, NAC3. Because this has not happened a single time in this uh, in this in in the group stage from what I've seen. Maybe I missed a game or two. Hmm. 
I think That's it's really a, interesting. It's a bit like Mr. Yo played that on C notes as well, right? Archer range, defensive tower, then adding the archer range after planting like six farms down. Yeah. And then try to play it in Castage with a strong economy. Yeah, now Zupi is in the process of walling up and will soon be fully walled. And Zupi is going fast castle. And then Rubenstock also going fast castle. So the play from Max is quite simply realizing. Oh, is Velez is going to be pushed off of gold. This is really good for Finland B. Uh, but Max is realizing that scouts are not going to contribute to his team's cause. And so why make them? Let's just get, just get Castle Age. Will be a very <laughs> passive game here. The question is, how is Villas regaining control of the back? Can build two archers, so he should be fine. Yeah, it's annoying though, right? Because you want to have a bit more than that. But I guess with 115 gold already, it's not the worst ever. And also has more scout HP. So it can take out Rubenstock's scout. Max is going to bring his scout over. Yeah, they'll be okay. But I think while the Vill loss might not have been part of the plan for Zupi, taking out that boar, uh, having Rubenstock and Zupi in fast castle position was clearly their strategy. So Finland B are where they want to be right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. They won't mind that at all. And honestly, I think if we don't get to a lot of relics... Berber should really dominate this one. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look yeah. at relics. We didn't really address that yet. Yeah, the relic position's uh, interesting on this one. It is normally even. You're going to have... Um, the, the way it's set up is you're going to have one near-ish to each player, but in a competitive area normally, and then you're going to have the extra one in the middle. So I suppose for Max, depending on if he can take map control, he does have three that he could take somewhat easily. Yeah. But... Like you said, I think having the Berbers and the cheaper knights is more effective. And the fact that Berbers don't get Paladin is not really an issue on this map. <laughs> this is funny. But um, it's not an issue because we rarely see Paladin. The games end much earlier than that. Yeah, rarely do we have a full contested area in the center anyways. And then Heavy Camel will do fine. Mass Cavalier will do fine as well. So, yeah, as you said, not, not important at all on this map. And another thing to bring up, I mentioned earlier that Vietnamese can be so beastly in post-imp with rats and archers. Mm -hmm. I see Rubenstock going to stone now. He's going fast oh. castle into rats and archers. Ooh. Are we ever going to get to Imperial in this game, or is it just going to be all about castle age? I think while rats and archers are great in post-imp, he could be making archers right now as he's on his way to castle age, and his team might really struggle with military because of that. I'm surprised that he is going returns. Very surprised. I expected crossbows. I expected him to be on crossbows faster than Velez, and then Zupi would have a reasonable time with knights. But if he's trying to go rats and archers, he won't be able to, to do much, and I think Zupi's going to be either 2v1'd, or he's going to be 2v1'd at his own base, Rubenstock. Hmm, Zupi? What, 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 what? He would play Market and Blacksmith as well, so Stable will be late. They will be... They won't have great numbers. I think the second Stable will be late. Everything's going to be pretty late here. And then you look at Max, just another game where he's going to stables. He has skipped making military in Feudal Age. And then Velez, uh, fortunately, is Vikings. And everything just looks so crisp and clean when I look at Finland AZ Eco. Despite everything that's gone down, having to deal with the Drush, having to deal with the Fordville, you'll still have Velez with solid army numbers, Max with solid army numbers, and amazing Eco. Hmm. So impressive. And this will be lots of aggression. Now the big question again. The lesson Max, who do they want to attack? Probably should be Zuppi. Shorter distance for the last and tougher to rewall for the non-archer player. Yep, exactly. I agree with you there. Ily, how impressive is it the level of consistency that the top top teams bring to the game? We haven't seen a single game from Finland A in such a long time where they were even slightly off amazing yeah, yeah yeah that that really surprises me as well and if if you see like the top players over the years like when did we see the max screwing up a dark age or all the other top players right they're yeah. so close to the perfect times nowadays and yeah like th that's, that's really what i love as well about this game that now we get into the very deep strategic elements because players are so clean yeah, players who are around top 100, there's a lot of people who can have 2k2, 2k3 days. <laughs> but, you know, you and I both know we could also have awful days. It, the, staying consistent 
is so difficult and it's so easy for these guys. Very impressive stuff. A max sees now that that stables there, and he's going to attack that. We'll have the lead with the production. Les is here with archers, and it's extreme risk for Ruben Stock, who's just now going to offer military for his team. The hope is that rats and archers are so strong that they're able to come back with that, but you do that and you wait for rats and archers and then your teammate will fall behind. And we've seen this before. Game one, Zupi falling behind because both Max and Velez were knocking at the door. The thing is, what I don't like about Rattans, think about the fight, right? In 1v1, Rattans absolutely kill Archer. But if we think yep. about the typical 2v2 fight, most of the time Archers survive, all the knights are dying. So Rattans only shooting at the knights. And then your armor isn't really helping you. Yeah, also I feel like Rattans are really underwhelming with that armor in Castle Age. It's really once you get imp upgrades, that's when it's beastly. It's, it's okay and strong and you have a bit more mobility, but is it worth delaying the numbers this much? He can have two production buildings. Velez could easily be going for three. And oh, big fight here. Zupi just needs to do what he can to hold. And he ends up having to back away as Crossbow is in. And it is only two ranges for Velez, but still, he has uh, 11 military and Rubenstock's only at six and on the other side of the map right now. Do we already have ballistics here? Or no? Okay. That will take some time at CTC. And the question is, how can Zuppi hold this one? He is still playing 1TC for quite some time to follow this one up. I think... I, I don't think he should take any damage here. Like, he should not be taking any of these fights. Um, the fact that he's not being attacked currently, his walls are not being broken down, is really good. Mm -hmm. So I think you, you actually... You play passive here if you're Finland B. Just hold them off from attacking your base. Double house wall, double palisade if need be. And just wait for that critical mass of, of knights and also rats and archers. So it's a good move for them to run away. I think it is a good sign that Max and Velez are not taking out the stables that Zubi has in the front right now. Yeah, that was the big difference compared to game number one. Zubi yeah. simply is skipping the scouts himself. Yeah, and they will see the rats and archers. I'm sure they knew it. But Max just spotted the Rats and Archers. And there's quite a few Rats and out. Let's give Rubenstock some credit. 12 Rats and Archers. Mm -hmm. Les has 17 crossbows. Uh-oh. Will he in a second, though? Seems oh. like he's a bit out of position. Oh, man. Velez running up the hill. That's good. But his crossbows are caught out here. I think we could see the Ratsons go down as well. But great job from Finland B. This is what they needed. That's an amazing fight for them, Nilly. Oh god, all the crossbows going down. That is so nice for sure. And well, that was a bit of a misplay. Normally the Finns, or oh, especially Fine, so much better at clumping together. And can this maybe snowball behind this though? Finland A with a better economy. Yeah, and I, I see TCs now. This is a sign for Rubenstock and Zupi. This is our moment. Let's go. Let's go to the middle. Let's add town centers. That TC from Rubenstock. Why not build it closer to your eco? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. He wants to build it in the center of the map. I feel like that's just inviting pressure later on. But that also might be denying some of that map control. He still has four villages on stone. So he will be able to build a castle in some minutes. Maybe he thinks, yep. okay, let's just put the TC there. And then it's easier to build the castle in the future. This is going to be a fun game, Nilly. Because Max and Velez have way more eco. But they don't have the middle secured right now, and they've fallen a little bit behind when it comes to military. Mm -hmm. So, I'm looking at 53 vills for Velez, 56 for Max, only 45 for Rubenstock, and 43 for Zupi. They have the ideal comp. Rats and archers, and knights, especially Berber knights. Hmm. But are they going to be able to hold with less economy? The Max now with the univ uh, with the monastery picking up some relics, so he will have three relics in total pretty soon. Oh boy, yeah. Unless I think Finland B will be aware of that uh, as they just kill a monk and Zupi and Rubenstock forcing Max to come back, and now Max he's going to lose stables here. And Nilly, this is the first time I've actually felt like Finland A were in some type of a discomforting position in the whole series. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree. This is really good, and Roomstock, he will get an army that will be extremely strong here. First stable going down. What's the reaction here by the Max? He adds two new stables in the back. And Max also housed at the moment. He will have three relics. That's a big deal. So has that eco, but will he have the gold to mine? 
Ruben stuck. His eco's not the worst, and Zupi's trying to get those town centers and stables up to get the production high enough, and... What... What could go wrong here for Zupi and Rubenstock? Uh, let's ask that. Mm, I think the max just outmassing. The thing is, how do you outmass if you don't get a lot of gold control, right? His yeah. one gold spot is running out in 600 gold, no control over the other one, and then three relics won't carry you too far. That monastery's right there. They're not going for it. They're going for Vilpix. And I think we might have a little surrounds here. It wants to, to trap this army. Inland A, under pressure. Many people were saying 3-0 before the series even started. We're at 2-0 right now. I do Zupi and Rubenstock back up here, Nilly? I think you have to... <laughs> you have to judge this nicely and consider running away. Those knights are no joke. Uh, let's take a look. Do they know about the other gold spot? No, they don't. So they might think the Max might have his other gold spot in the back. Mm, yeah, and they back away. I mean, they do have TCs in the middle right now. Oh, Max was able to get one up, though. And 10 plus 4 knights with Lithuanians. Full armor. More knights on the way. Max will probably take that gold if he sees it. What a fun game we have. I think this is a spot where Zuppi should add some more stables. Is sitting at 3 right now. Has... Three TCs, maybe even... Oh, I think Roomstock just bought some stone. He will drop the castle. And I think it's because he sees the town centers there. Also, Zupi has more knights than Max does. So he's less attack, but he has more knights. And there's Rats and Archers here. Six Pierce Armor. I said they're not that good in Castle Age. I take it back. <laughs> they are they were looking really strong right now. And they're especially good at tanking Arrow Fire from Velez's army. That castle is going to go up for Rubenstock. And Zuppi and Roomstock, they don't need to take a fight anymore. They can camp this out. They know they yeah. easily get that TC. They easily get all the gold control. This is looking really good for Phil and B. Now, the only way to take the middle now, it's not going to be with knights in most cases. It's going to be with siege. And Imperial is what you need if you want the siege. And Velez is imping right now. He might not have a lot of gold, but he is imping. He's got about a uh, thousand gold remaining, and he's on stone nearly. So I expect a castle from him. And if that castle goes up in a good spot, he could maybe start trebbing back the middle. But it does mean that there's a solid time window for Zupi and Rubenstock to push and kill the Max. And they might be doing that right now. Rubenstock fully out of position. What's happening here? Why is his army so much to the front? Where is Zupi? This could be so bad. Knights Zupi are jumping. running to the right side. Fortunately, the Rattans are Ooh. pretty quick. And yeah, that could have been a disaster. You're right. But it could be a disaster for Velez as well. If Velez gets spotted here. Or for Max, depending on how this is. It looks like Finland B is, is more together than Finland A right now. Oh man, this is so crazy. I'm loving this and I'm really excited for Finland B because they really have a shot here. Oh, crossbows out of position, trying to micro back. Not sure if the market is helping or not helping at the moment. Not deleting it for now. Okay, so let's think about the pure summer on Rathens and Castle Age. You get six pure summer. Arbalest with full upgrades does 10 attack. Still a lot of pure summer, but Arbalest is going to be a huge help. It's currently, the crossbows do so little against those Rathen archers. Also, oh. that castle position, I don't think it's going to be all that good for Velez when he does build it, because they cannot even take the, the flat lands next to the gold in the middle. Uh, let's take a look. Needs to wait for all his upgrades. Maybe then take a fight. That is kind of the unit that needs to carry the game. It is open. Now rewall behind. Tricky spot. It's all on Velez now. It's all on Velez. Without gold. I would love to see Finland A try and go for some weird trade strategy here. You almost don't have the gold to trade, which is the problem. But how else are you going to get it? You have to invest in some way. They do have the army control in the hill now, so I think Velez will place that castle. Ooh. And always going to try and place it in the middle. Ooh, interesting one. Ah, Cancelling it, builds it even further forward. Sees, okay, Roomstock's outpost is blocking there. First villager goes down, and Roomstock, he has to know what's up. That feels really, really uh, awkward, right? It's a lot of rats and archers. They'll just engage. And they're taking out the Arbalest. Uh -oh. That's not enough Arbalest. That's mainly because Zuppi is around and the Max is going back there. Big raid in the back. Wow, and Zuppi only sent in about a dozen units here. Max has to send his whole force back to deal with that. And in the process, everything will die for Velez. 
Beautiful surround. Now the knights are coming over for the max, but little too late. And that is the army that needed to decide the game for Finland A. Supreme engagement for Finland B. Velez does not have the gold to make more Arbalest. Rubenstock says, yeah, that's a great castle spot. I'm going to place one too. And the game is over. Rubenstock and Zupi get a victory and well played from them. I was questioning the rats and archers nearly. I know you were too. I kind of like it now. It's not bad. <laughs> Would this game have played differently if Rubenstock just went to Archie Range's crossbow? I think if he goes to Archie Range crossbow, Max is, or, or sorry, Velez is a lot more comfortable to take some of those fights in Castle Age. But because the mobility of the Ratsens and the fact that a crossbow would do one damage to a Ratsen archer, it kind of canceled those those crossbows out of the equation. And in particular, it canceled Fast Arbalest. So impressive. And I also think it comes back to that poor engagement for Finland A, where Velez lost his early numbers. Because early numbers is the benefit of going crossbow over Ratsens. And he lost his force, and then immediately after that, Rubenstock and Zupi took the middle, and they yeah. never lost it after that. But I felt like that was the deciding factor, right? The less yeah, moving his crossbows. And then it doesn't matter. Like, they had such an army advantage, just put so much pressure on the max. Well, the less and the max went for the boom, a questionable choice on Golden Pit, because you need to have that center control so much earlier. So I think actually Rattans didn't win the game. It was actually the way cleaner play by Finland B, which excites me a lot. Yeah, and, and you know, one more thing to bring up is the second town centers for Velez and Max came up almost immediately in Castle Age, and they were not in the middle. Mm -hmm. Whereas the second town center for Rubenstock, granted, he was in a more all-in situation, he went to the middle. And Zupi, you look back at his eco, he has one TC up on the hill, two TCs in the middle. So there was also further prioritization of the middle by Finland B. Velez and Max felt like they could maybe go two or three TCs up on the hill, get an eco lead, push the middle, and then take control, and it just didn't work out. But yeah, that was that was awesome, and I'm, I'm proud for Zupi and Rubenstock because game one and two were pretty brutal, mm -hmm. and now we get to see a home map for Finland A, and if Finland A end up winning the series long term, maybe whoever's prepped to play them next can get a bit of a peek into what strategies they will try. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Although Team Island games play really differently depending on what civilizations we have. Do we have Vikings included? Do we not have Vikings included? And we just saw in the last game the less with a negative KD, which shouldn't really happen for the yeah. crossbow player there. And kind of the main factor. Should they go for Ghost Lake or should they go?